Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this JPEG or whatever it is and want to know how you would draw that. And there's at least two ways. I can't really tell. It's so fuzzy if it's if the things are tapered a little bit. But one way we can draw it, and it's pretty cool, would be with the polygon tool. And let's zoom in here to the center of the page. And let's take a polygon and let's set it like on a hundred. So I'm going to hold down the control button and get a perfect, basically a circle and I'm going to hit P, but it's a polygon. Cause if you look at all the nodes, then we're going to take just one of the nodes and come inward. Okay. Now this won't be exactly perfect. Uh, you could do it with a rectangle tool and a rotation, but you could do that this way. Take your shape tool and double click on that line and then just bring it up. Now, it's not the same because we need to do the exact same thing on the bottom and it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Now, the reason I said it's not going to be exactly because you're moving, you know, you're eyeballing that. But now it, it's not the same because if we take the smart fill tool and fill that in, you've got the solid circle. So what you need to do then, and that's why, this is really why I draw in the center of the page a lot of time, take a, the ellipse tool and make a circle a little bit bigger than your other one and select both of them and go right here to back minus front and what that did it basically welded those lines so now when you take your color and make it blue take away the outline you have pretty close to that um, I can't really tell if they're tapered you know you could taper them a little bit by putting the um, you know the nodes a little bit closer at the bottom you could do the exact same thing with the root of, uh, you know, with the, uh, let me do this. Let me just fill in one of them. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my indexing lines and hit P, put it in the center of the page. P, put it in the center of the page. And I am going to fill in that one right there with the smart fill tool. Now I am going to, whoop. I am going to move our object out of the way. So I'm going to nudge factor on like 20. Grab our object and move it out of the way. And you could break these apart. But since that's the center now, and we're going to actually double click on it and put the rotation in the center. And then instead of doing them with uh, Control D duplicate, we're going to open up the Docker Transformer Transformation uh, rotation and I didn't really think about this um, you know 100 would go into 360 um, you know what I wonder if we type in 360 divided by 100 so I get 3.6 angle well so there's let's make 100 of them there you go. And then uh, you can always grab them and make them purple, take away the outline. But what I was saying about uh, if they were tapered, this would be a good time to taper them. And, you know, that one's not really in the middle. I'm going to left click, right click. And I'm going to go to object and I'm going to, well, it's already occurred, so we don't have to do anything. But now we could taper that. See, we've got a node right there we don't need. We'll take it away. But we're just going to bring in that one and bring in that one. And see, now it's a little bit of taper. It should still be on the same rotation it is. So now they've got a little bit of a taper to them. You know, they're thinner up top than they are on the bottom. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.